Ariel Helwani in Vancouver alongside Yoon Olaf Einemo, who makes his UFC debut this Saturday night against Dave Pee Wee Herman. And uh, a lot of buzz, Yoon, for your UFC debut. A lot of people have been waiting for this, especially over in Europe. Uh, you took a, a very long time uh, away from the sport, uh, some time to you know really perfect your game. Why did you take so much time off, almost five years now? Um. Time goes fast, huh? but um, no, it's been um, a lot of reasons. Uh, I had my son and uh, been difficult to travel a lot and to, to, to get the proper training I needed to, uh, to fight professionally and uh, also a little bit injured and uh, many things, you know, like, uh, and I didn't really have a really good opportunity to, uh, to come back before now. Most people, when they take some time off and they want to try to get back into MMA, they don't get a shot to fight in the UFC right off the bat. How did you get this shot? So you know, just uh, without any tune-up fights. Um, I was lucky, yeah, and, and also I think because of um, I'm a part of the, the, the good team, Golden Glory. They have a good contacts with the um, yeah with UFC and with uh, different promotions. So um, yeah, I guess that was also a little bit of a reason, huh? Obviously, we know about your your, your great background in uh, in jujitsu, and you're one of the best heavyweights uh, to to ever compete in MMA who has such a strong background in jujitsu. But how about your striking? Uh, and obviously, Golden Glory very much known for their striking. How have you improved as a striker since we last saw you compete? Uh, you know, five years ago. Uh, I feel my game is much more complete now than uh, than uh, when I fought uh, for Pride uh, a long time ago, and. Um, yeah, and also the, the, I have so much better sparring now, so um, overall I, I think yeah, more, yeah, much more complete now, it's, it's better. I can, I, can, I can do okay stand up and, and also on the ground now. Let's say there are fans out there watching this clip who have never seen you fight. How would you describe your overall game? Um, of course, I'm, I'm originally a wrestler grappler, so uh, uh, that's always going to be my my uh, my my basic style, eh? but uh, also um, had many years now training with Golden Glory, so I I feel like a pretty all rounder. Right. Yeah. You were supposed to fight Shane Carwin, and that was a big fight for you. And and a lot of people were actually originally surprised that they matched Carwin, who had fought for the title against you, who was making his debut in the UFC. Were you surprised that they gave you Carwin off the bat? Yeah. Um, but it was uh, a great, ch great chance for me. So uh, we accepted right away when, when his name uh, was, uh, yeah. And when, when they mentioned his name, we were very excited to, to, to fight him. Huh? But um, yeah. But then um, Brook Lesnar got injured, and then they changed things around. So, uh, but yeah, nothing to do about that. Now just take it, Dave Herman. Can you describe how you felt when you got the call that you weren't fighting Carwin? Because nothing against Herman, but Carwin's a much bigger name and a bigger fight for you. How did you feel? I get a little bit uh, disappointed, of course, because um, we were training really hard for Carwin, and uh, and um, I think I would have a really good chance of, of beating him. So um, and it would be um, put me right up there in 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 the, in the top uh, in in UFC if you if you take one of the top guys. So, but. Um, I just uh, I didn't I just tried to focus on my training and keep on training and because this is things you, you cannot do anything about it anyway yeah so it, it's no no uh, no point to to uh, let it uh, frustrate you or uh, yeah. Pee Wee Herman's fighting in his UFC debut as well. Uh, what do you know about him? Not a whole lot. I know he's uh, he's like a, have a wrestling background and. Um, I've seen a couple of his fights from from YouTube, but it's bad quality and uh, it's. Uh, but I know he's, he's uh, about my size and um, yeah, probably a strong com competitor, you know. So um, I, uh, I'm, I'm, um, I have to do my very best. Huh? Yeah. How do you think your cardio is going to be? You know, how do you feel when you train? And obviously, you can't replicate what goes on in a fight 100% when you're training. But you train with some very tough guys. How do you think the, the time away from the sport is going to affect you when you fight on Saturday? I hope and uh, believe it's not going to be a real, a real factor um, because um, I had a long, long, very good preparation for this fight and uh, we have um, so many different guys to, to, to spar with and training with in, in Golden Glory and, uh, and uh, it's very hard training, hard sparring, so um, I hope that's going to take away uh, a lot of the, 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 the experience I've been lacking the last year. So. This, this could be the beginning of a very big stretch for Golden Glory with uh, you know, your debut, Alistair fighting next weekend, yeah. Valentine fighting, Marlus Kunin next month. So 
Karatanov as well. He just had a very big win in, yeah. in, uh, in kickboxing. So a very big stretch. And it's great to see you finally make your UFC debut. Can't wait for this one. Thank you for the time. Thank you very much. Eh? I'm looking forward to it too. Yeah.